if you are looking for open source project management, there's tons and they all have their own benefits and features that make them unique. However, which is the best one that is suited for your needs? Today we're having a look at OpenWRT. We're also having a look at RASPAP and we're going to figure out what they actually do and why you should be using them. So let's do it. We're looking at OpenWRT now. So it is a Linux based router firmware that breathes new life into a consumer router. It's fully open source and it's ideal for resource constraint devices, including ARM based hardware. It has some basic network functions such as firewall, NAT, VPN support, and it has numerous packages. It is a lightweight design and it's perfect for home and small office networks. It's highly adaptable with modular package systems for tailored setups. Let's have a look at some more features. It is compatible with hundreds of different routers and SBCs. It excels on low powered hardware where other systems won't actually be able to run effectively. It breathes new life into aging routers with modern security features and it prevents electronic waste by extending its device lifespan. It's perfect for Raspberry Pi and similar compact computing platforms. It creates affordable custom network appliance with minimal investment. You can see over here it's perfect for DIY enthusiasts who want complete control over their home network. It also gives you advanced wireless configuration options for more optimal coverage and better performance. It gives you essential security features to protect small networks from your common threats and all in all it is an extensive online community with thousands of additional open source add-ons available for specialized needs. So if there is something additional to some of the features that I have mentioned, you will likely be able to find it in the community. Okay, so let's have a look at Rasp app now. Uh, Rasp app is an open source wireless router solution. It transforms ordinary embedded Linux devices like Raspberry Pi into powerful wireless routers through open source software. So since its inception in February 2015 by Lawrence Yu, the project has garnered over 4,000 GitHub stars and seen more than 2,500 commits from a dedicated community, now primarily maintained by Bill Zimmerman alongside community contributors. Rasp app is developed in Bash P. HP and JavaScript. The interface has been translated into more than 20 languages and features a responsive design that works seamlessly across desktop as well as mobile devices. Let's have a look at some of their core features and their capabilities. So first off is their Wi-Fi management. You can convert your device into a fully functional Wi-Fi access point or wireless repeater with advanced networking capabilities. It has a very intuitive web GUI, so you can com uh, configure complex networking services through a user-friendly interface, DHCP, DNS mask, firewall settings, VPN connections, and ad blocking is all included. It has security services. So it uh, allows you to integrate optimal security features, including WireGuard, OpenVPN, dynamic DNS updates, and comprehensive ad blocking protection. It also has container support, which is a really nice added feature. You can deploy um, Rasp app via Docker containers for simplified installation and flexible integrations with existing network infrastructures. It is originally designed for a Raspbian. Rasp app now supports a wide range of Debian based distributors, making it a versatile um, system across multiple hardware platforms. The last thing is their installation and customization. So they have a very quick setup process. Their features include a flexible installer that gets your wireless router up and running in minutes. Their software works with both built-in Wi-Fi adapters and USB dongles, giving you hardware flexibility. It has extensive 
um, compatibility. So thoroughly tested on Raspberry Pi OS. Um, the app actually performs best on a clean installation to ensure optimal reliability and performance. And their um, management interface, you can access the intuitive GUI from any device on your local network, monitoring your real-time statistics and managing all network services through a straightforward dashboard interface. All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a fantastic roundup, a good head-to-head -head comparison. If this was helpful, you can go ahead and drop us a like. If you have any feedback, you can leave a comment down below. And we'll see you next time.